Royal Australian Air Force Base at Butterworth in central Malaya is one of the largest ever peacetime flying bases maintained overseas by Australia. Situated on the west coast of Malaya, almost directly across the Malacca Straits from the island of Penang, it is the centre of operations for nearly a thousand Australian airmen. From here, Australian air crews fly Australian-built Sabre jet fighters and Canberra jet bombers. While the RAAF Sabres and Canberras bulk very largely in operations from Butterworth, there is also a Royal Air Force component based there, and occasionally visiting V-bombers show their sleek and deadly form, and an RAF helicopter squadron provides an aerial made of all work. Butterworth is a big base, and one gets a vivid impression of its manpower strength when a visiting air officer inspects the combined forces on the tarmac area. RAAF, RAF, and Malayan regiment members parade against a familiar background of aircraft and palm trees. Butterworth is part of the British Commonwealth Strategic Reserve, and is in Malaya by agreement between the British, Australian, and Malayan governments. Backing up the Australian flyers is a ground organisation of tremendous ramifications. Because of wear and tear imposed on equipment in the tropics, the maintenance units have to toil unceasingly. It's a busy runway. During routine training, aircraft take off and land in an almost continuous stream. Sometimes there's an interruption to local flying with the arrival of a Hercules transport aircraft. The Hercules maintain a courier service between the Australian mainland and Butterworth, carrying equipment and spares which bypass the slower shipping lanes. But fighters have priority of landing, and the Hercules takes its turn in the landing pattern. The fast turboprop Hercules keep up a never-ending supply of equipment needed to keep Butterworth at its required peak. Hercules' interruptions to Butterworth flying are doubly welcome because packed away with this freight is news from home and always vital spare parts to keep the aircraft flying. Relationships with the people of Malaya are excellent, and working with the Australians are large numbers of local civilian employees. They assist in the endless tasks necessary to keep such a base functioning smoothly. It's nothing to find a quick change from friendships at work to friendships away from the base. A Sunday morning visit to the nearby village of Begun Barat is always a mutually pleasant excursion. Groups from the base have virtually adopted the village, and the rebuilding of a widow's home and the provision of medical aid for crippled children are among some of the jobs the Australians have tackled. Across the Straits of Malacca, just a few miles away, is the city of Georgetown, capital of the island of Penang. 
On Penang Island live the majority of the Australian married airmen, and the Saturday morning shopping outings with their wives are a happy, informal affair. The Australians are used to busy streets and traffic, and as well there's an occasional sign which brings a nostalgic smile. But nevertheless, at Penang, the sights and sounds are of a different world. And of course, the prices of many items, such as household appliances, radios, and even motor cars, are very appealing, for Penang is a duty-free port. On the slopes of the island facing the mainland is a tremendous housing development area, and here our AAF members have their wives and families living with them in places such as these. A weekend afternoon at Penang is very much like a weekend in Australia. There are visitors, and the children enjoy Dad's being at home to play with them. Dad enjoys it because here the gardening is done for him, and he can supervise the kite flying. Back at the base, the single airmen, Australian and British, take it easy under the palms at their club. While at night, the easy informality of the tropics is carried into a young family's party, where white shirt and tie are quite formal enough. Like any party at home, it's nothing unusual for the men to get into a corner and leave it to the host to make small talk with the ladies. But there's another day on its way, and with the dawn, the guards and their dogs can be seen patrolling the silent lines of aircraft. The meteorological officer's balloon literally does go up for yet another day of operations at the base, and soon, across the ferry gangplanks, stream hundreds of airmen. The Australian slouch hat is well to the fore here. As well as being part of the official uniform, it's worn with pride by the airmen. With the arrival at the main gates of the base, it's another day's work for the men. For the children, it's the same old familiar routine. Malaya or Australia, it's off to school they have to go. The RAAF maintains a large school on Penang with Australian teachers who conduct classes from infant school level to well into secondary school standards. Life can be leisurely here, but at the same time, the varied activities of bringing up children together with social work keep the Australian wives busy. Many have taken a keen interest in local civic groups, and while some attend with Red Cross workers at the schools, others may be busy at baby health centres, for example. There's also keen interest in the various youth organisations, with no shortage of lecturers and workers for such groups as the Air Rangers and the Boy Scouts. While the scouts may be studying for a map reader's badge, it's only a few miles away to the base where we find the navigation officer outlining some of the problems of a training exercise which is to be staged for the fighter and bomber squadrons. While the air crew briefing is taking place, the ground crews are busy. The tropical heat is already apparent, and while armourers fit rockets to the racks of the Sabre fighters, on another section of the busy aerodrome, we can find the Canberra ground crews busy around the Australian-built bombers. They wait, however, until the last moment before the Canberras are to be taxied, before they remove sun covers and cabin cooling units.
While the Canberras are rolling out onto the tarmac, the fighters are being readied for takeoff. The runway at Butterworth is a long one, one of the longest in the Far East, and was built by Australian airfield construction workers a few years ago. Quickly the takeoffs get underway, and ceaselessly the radar eyes keep watch on any aircraft operating in the area. This banner target might look like the side of a house, but the young Australian pilots know it's a very different proposition when you're approaching a target at a speed of four to five hundred miles an hour. Everybody gets a thrill out of fireworks, but it's a different sort of thrill when sabre rocketry takes place. High skill and proficiency are essential with a rocket weighing 60 pounds. The target is a small floating marker, and the Sabre fighter is rocketing downwards in a screaming dive. Not all the training is in the air or on the ground. If a pilot is forced to bail out over water, it's of little use coming down safely if he can't operate his own one-man dinghy. So it's into the water for these pilots. Maybe there's no great discomfort in a swim when the everyday temperature here reminds one of Australia's best surfing weather, but there's the instructor's constant reminder that they're not playing a game. This type of boating is deadly serious, and a man's life can depend on a thorough knowledge of his survival equipment. Landings at Butterworth are always against the outline of the ever-watchful radar, and then the fighters are quickly marshalled into the tarmac area in readiness for refuelling and servicing. This morning, the officer commanding the base is waiting on the tarmac to talk to some of his senior officers, but it's not long before the discussions are transferred to a spot in the shade. But the day-by-day -day activities go on at the base. Aircraft are flying, ground crews are working, and across the water on the island of Penang, the families are busy. One very great and important fact remains. The RAAF base at Butterworth is steadily becoming a great ambassador for Australia in an area where goodwill and friendship are appreciated just as much as might and power. <laughs> 